This is Elliot with uh, Gigs Online, and today we're going to talk about Upworking or cold email. Uh, I saw I came across this article, and Johan actually had a, a really good piece that he put together that I wanted to talk about. Uh, the reason why is that when you look at starting off as a freelancer, uh, there's a couple ways for you to be able to get customers or, or get your first uh, client. Upwork is a really great platform. Uh, the other thing is really uh, trying uh, some cold email outreach. So we'll kind of go through this article and, and figure out, you know, based on my experiences, what works, what doesn't work for me personally, and what things may work for you. So the first thing is you, you really have to understand the fee structure with Upwork. When you first start on Upwork, there is a 20% fee. So when you think about earning uh, $500 from a client, uh, that 20% will be $100. So you're only getting 400 of that $500. That could actually really be uh, off-putting for a lot of people. Uh, but the great thing about Upwork is as you start to do more work, I think after you get to like uh, $9,500, then it's around 5%. But you do have to do a lot of sales and, and really you know, get up to that point before you're able to kind of leverage that platform and the benefits at a, at a smaller rate being 5%. So that's really a, a big deal because that could be a barrier where you're doing a lot of the work and a huge percentage is, is being taken um, away. Uh, but the one thing about Upwork is that it is a platform that is already established and you can look at... Um, like the jobs that are available and you can see how well it lines with your, your skill set. So they are doing a, a great service for you by taking a lot of prospects, putting them in one place for you to go through and say, yes, um, I am able to do this. And then you can apply for it with connects and it makes it you know very easy for you to get started. Now, the reality is that cold email is, is really hard of uh, really this cold outreach me personally um it's always been a numbers game i've had success with cold outreach uh but it's it's very very low uh, some people are really great at it but the reality is that it's not uh that easy and it is a numbers game and and you could see anywhere from one to ten percent as being kind of your conversion rate of of outreach versus people actually converting into leads and and you may have an even smaller percentage of people becoming your clients after uh, they become a lead. So uh, this can be very, very challenging, and I totally understand why people don't go this route. Uh, but the one thing is that uh, you do learn a lot, and they'll talk a little bit more about that in, in the article. Uh, one thing is really when you look at um, warm invites, uh, that's what's happening on Upwork. The reality is that you are in competition with a lot of people. And the one thing about competition is that the the price can go down because it's so many people or more than one person that's saying, yeah, I'm willing to do it. Uh, that can actually uh, cause you to get, you know, less um, of those leads kind of converting because you'll get someone in, they start talking to you and then they start talking to other people. And somebody may just beat you on price where you say, hey, I can do that for $50 an hour and someone else will go and say, hey, I can do it for 30. As a, as a buyer of services, I think a lot of times price drives behavior. And if someone is offering an equivalent service that you are at 50 bucks for 30 bucks, I think a lot of people will go for the 30 bucks regardless of, you know, um, you know, how great of a job you would do. So that's kind of one thing about Upworks uh, is that you really have to think about the competition aspect and a lot of people don't. But, you know, it's one of those things where a lot of it is is synthesized for you already because they actually have this place for people to put up jobs that they need help with. And you just have to realize that there is um, a competition. One thing is, with the cold approach, you really don't have to think about competition as much because you're coming up with a, a very unique solution that you're pitching and no one else is probably talking to them about or your potential client about the same uh, solution or, or whatever service you're trying to provide. So that is one way to kind of get around um, competition. 
one thing that Upwork does give you is really this this concept of validation. It's things like they actually have payment verifications where a client has actually uploaded their credit card to the platform and they have a history of payment. So those are things that you don't get with cold email. You're just kind of reaching out into, you know, a unknown entity and you don't know, do they pay their bills on time? How much have they actually worked with freelancers before? You really don't get a chance to see that, but Outwork does have that visibility and that can be very, very helpful. I talked about this a little bit before, but code, uh, like emailing approaches really do make you better because you're actually able to learn a lot better because you're going to deal with failure a lot. Uh, when you send an email to a, a person that you don't know, <laughs> uh, chances are they're not going to be <laughs> interested in what you uh, are, are selling, even if it's a good fit for them because you're a stranger. They don't know you. And, you know, how many times have you actually bought things from people that you don't know? It's, it's very rare. So um, the one thing that you do learn is how to actually pitch in such a way where you give enough information and you leave behind enough for people to be interested to kind of reach out or follow up with, with your pitch. So that's kind of one thing that, you know, um, going kind of the, the cold approach that allows you to, to kind of build that skill and that, that muscle because uh, when you hear people say no enough times, you, you start to understand what doesn't work and then you can start trying to figure out what works. And this is uh, one way to do it is, is kind of do it on your own. Um, they do kind of talk about, you know, this, uh, this third way. Um, it's really, you, you kind of talk about a problem and they, they call it content creation, but you, you, you talk about a problem and, you know, you talk about how you would solve it or how you have solved it in the past. And then that can be like this legion for people to, um, you know, kind of understand like, oh, yeah, I'm running into the same issue. This is how this person solved it. And then it gets uh, a person that says, hey, can you do that for me? And so now you have this content that's that's leading towards, you know, other uh, potential customers. So that's kind of one way. Uh, so you don't really have to pick, you know, cold email versus Upwork. You can kind of create content and then you're solving a problem and then people find you and then they want to work with you because of, you know, this kind of social proof that you put out there with this content. Uh, the reality is that like, um, regardless of how you go about getting like leads either through cold email or, you know, through, um, Upwork, uh, or even, you know, content creation, the reality is like, you should really focus on quality because, it's really not about quantity. Uh, you shouldn't try to do 100 jobs really poorly. You should try to do one or two very well because when you're starting out, that's so impactful for you to get future customers because you have that, that kind of proof that you did a great job with this person. And if someone reads that, they can go, oh, they may do a great job with me or what are other people saying? They're saying great things. So that's really, um, you know, one way for you to kind of always look at it through that lens of making sure you have quality things that you're producing. Um, overall, I think that, you know, this article actually has, you know, very realistic information. Uh, you, you really have to kind of think about these things of using these kind of platforms like Upwork uh, to kind of find work as a freelancer, or you try this whole cold email approach. Uh, you really should probably look at how the buyers and your particular, uh, the skills that you offer, uh, how do they normally buy? Are they going on to uh, Upwork and hiring freelancers or do they kind of work through a referral network? Uh, you really have to kind of understand the, the buying behavior of your potential clients. And, and that should really lead you to like try stuff that would probably be a little bit more successful than the other options that were laid out. Um, Johan is a really great resource uh, to look at. Um, I'll actually share his profile um, in uh, the description. Uh, if you uh, found this content uh, interesting or you like it, uh, please click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel. Uh, we talk about uh, side hustles, side jobs. We talk about what things work and, and things that are based on our personal experience here at Gigs Online. And thank you so much and we will see you later. Bye.